اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وقال لولا انزل علیہ ملک ولو انزلنا ملک لقضی الامر ثم لا ينظرون ولو جعلناه ملک لجعلناه رجلا ولنبسنا علیہ ما يلبسون ولقد استحضی برسل من قبل فحاق بالذین سخروا منہم ما کانوا به يستحضیون صدق اللہ العظیم As I told you, a very important issue that is discussed in the beginning of Surah Al-Anam was that the kuffar of Quraysh at Makkah, especially their chiefs, they were demanding from the Prophet Wasallam a visible sign, a visible miracle. Not that they wanted actually to see the miracle and then they would believe in him, but they were using it as an argument against him to impress upon the common people what we call the silent majority to impress upon them that these people are sincere they are asking for something which is logical if someone is claiming to be a messenger of Allah well, it's not much for, for him to ask you know from him to ask that he should show a miracle when all the messengers of Allah have been showing miracles. But the decision on the other side from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was that we are not going to show them any visible miracle. So it was a very difficult situation in which Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was placed. Maybe that some of the Muslims also were thinking, well, there's no harm if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows a miracle. Maybe some of them, you know, after all, maybe they come to believe or even if they don't come to believe, at least they will have to shut up. Their argument will be finished. And maybe, please note, that such an idea might have come to the mind of Muhammad Wasallam himself also. That is why we will be reading some of the most hard admonitions to the Prophet Wasallam in this surah. <coughs> وَقَالُوا لَوْرَا أُنزِلْ عَلَيْهِ مَلَكِ And they say, why has not an angel been sent to him, sent down on him? If we had seen an angel coming from above, bringing a book to Muhammad, we would have believed. لَوْ أَنزَلْ لَا مَلَكًا لَقُلْيَ الْأَمْرُ سُمَّ لَا يُنزَرُونَ Had we sent down an angel, then you know the matter would have been decided. And then no more concession, no more respite will be given to them. Because we know, basic philosophy of life, this worldly life is, that it is for the testing, a period of testing. If everything comes before your eyes, if you can see Allah, if you can see the heaven, if you can see the, the hell, then you know the, the testing goes. It is that you have to believe in these things, to see these things with the intellect, with the heart. While you are in ghaib, Allah yuminuna bil ghaib. So that is the testing. If everything of the unseen comes before your eyes, then you know this, the question of testing goes away. So if an angel is sent, then no more respite, then actually, on the day of judgment, the angels will come before our eyes. But then there will be no respite for anybody to do any good deed. And if we had sent an angel as a messenger, we, have, we would have made him also a man. Because we have made, we have sent these messengers to, for, for the humanity and to test them. So even if we had decided to send down an angel as a messenger, we would have turned him into a man. And we would have covered upon them what, is, what they, are, they are covering now. Yani, because they have to believe the unseen. That this wahi, coming down of wahi is not visible. Jibreel is coming to him, no doubt, but he is invisible. You can't see him. And if these things become visible, then you know it's no question of testing now. 
عمران خان In Quran, it has appeared only for punishment and chastisement and, you know, azab. Haqa bil ladhina kafar usakhiru min hum. Ma kanu bihi istahadu. Whatever they were laughing at, whatever they were mocking at, those things came to them and they were surrounded by them, encompassed by them. Qul siru fil lamp. Tell them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, go round about in the land. سمودیپل آف سالح علیہ مسلط وسلام 